Their dad, Jonathan, did the same ride when he was a teenager, so they felt it would be an incredible way to pay tribute to him. Well, brothers Lyle and Stron Anderson, together with some friends, are cycling 2,200 kilometers across South Africa. I'm Simon Clayton and I'm one of the riders for Border to Beach. My name is Stuart Anderson, I'm part of the Border to Beach team. Hi, my name is Al Anderson and I am a cyclist for the Border to Beach Cycle Tour. Hi, I'm uh, Gareth Miles, I'm one of the riders from the Border to Beach team riding for dementia from Bikebridge to Cape Town. Simon, how's it buddy? I just had a bit of a bad fall, but it's enough to have cracked my helmet. So we need you to please get another helmet at the store. Crack your one and only helmet. The kind people at Platjan have hooked me up, eh? Uh, no, it's, it's a long day. I'm, I'm a little scared. It's going to get a bit cumbersome, but we've just got to get through the section where the road's bad. Like, every single local is like, don't drive on this road. Problem, but look, apparently there's, there's only 70 k's of bad, bad road ahead. So we're heading that way, and until Swart got to the, I think 70 k's of like potholes and no road. Once we pass that, it should be fine. Uh, Yeah, 
brothers Lyle and Stuart Anderson lost their father to dementia last year in an effort to reduce the stigma around mental health issues and to get people to talk about early detection signs are cycling 2,200 kilometers across South Africa. So, unfortunately, a year ago, uh, we lost our dad to dementia. Um, so, and when he was 17 years old, he rode from Zimbabwe to Cape on the bicycle, and it was something we were always so proud of. So, we thought, in, uh, in dedication to him, we'd ride the, the same ride. Um, and then, once planning it, we decided, oh, hang on now, we've got an opportunity to raise much new awareness for dementia. So, that's what we're doing. And his, his last six months were spent on, in at home, on the farm, where I was able to see him just about every day. And I saw the rapid decline and it was tough. It really was tough. You know, I saw him get less and less of who he was, become less and less of who he was, and to the point where he didn't re recognize me, to the point where um, he didn't recognize other people, he eventually stopped talking. And although I can say it was peaceful, it was very tough for us and our family. He was down in Natal, I was in Joburg, and I didn't go see him enough having the twins in my life and they were still quite young, life was pretty hectic so when I did eventually go he didn't know who I was and that hit hard so that made me passionate about teaching other people the importance of time you have left when somebody is diagnosed and to teach people of early signs so they can spot signs in a loved one to get them tested. Awesome. Okay. Let's go back to those cool cycling videos. One, two, three! my heart as I'm cycling for my father. My dad was diagnosed with dementia about 10 years ago. He's done so much for me and my family and I want to achieve something incredible. And I think by pushing my body to another level they suffer every day. So let me put my body through something that I can and hopefully people will see what we've done and get involved. personal, they're real, they're authentic and it's sort of the same journeys that we take with our own families. It's the, it's the, same, the same struggles we see um, and it was just a wonderful opportunity for us to get involved. If you had one piece of advice to give yourself at the beginning of the ride, based on what you know now, what would it be? The one thing I would have told myself is not to be worried because as we said earlier, that, um, we are all capable and those hills that, uh, that never came, why worry about them? Because when we, when we got to them, we went straight over them. So, not to be worried, man. It's, we can do this. Anyone, anyone can really put their mind to anything they can do. Anything. There were times when I felt like I was just, you know, going through the motions and cycling. I, if I could do this again, I would slow down a bit. 
soak it up a bit more, experience it a bit more because we all feel, you know, two weeks ago we were at Bikebridge, now we're in Cape Town, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, tomorrow it's all over. We love all the support that you've given us and we will see you there on the beach tomorrow. Yeah. So, with our tires. Hit the sand. <laughs> the <laughs> beach. <laughs> Into the beach. Fine. <laughs> Thanks guys. Awesome. Are they ready to run? Right. Yeah. Okay. You have to do with the box, huh? Box? I think that would be nice to pick up. I think. Okay. That should be the table house and the house again. That would be. I heard, I heard um, bike wheels ticking last night. I think I'll buy it. No, okay. no. I heard something else like that. It's not here. The mics are here. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Somewhere. Oh, Maybe they want to yeah. put them somewhere safe. They're in that, go through the kitchen. Oh. Okay. Anybody feel like the adrenaline levels is a bit low? Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty low. low. Oh. No, we're good Welcome now. to the morning, kids. Yes. Next stop, oh, okay. Next stop, beach, baby! Beach, baby! Woo! Oh, no. Let's go now! <laughs>